Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about 10 Iranian cultures and traditions. So before starting this video please like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. To truly understand a country's culture and people, it's imperative to have a basic understanding of their customs. In Iran there are plenty of quirks and customs that are as routine, as drinking water for Iranians but that can leave others quite perplexed. If you are planning to conduct business with Iranian people, here are some important rules for etiquette and customs that should be observed. The most common greeting is, Salam Aleikum, or more simply Salam which means peace. Introductions are generally restricted to members of the same gender, since men and women socialize separately. When Iranians greet each other they take their time and converse about general things. Try to never be late punctuality is appreciated. Show respect for elders by greeting them first. Iranians prefer to do business with those they know and respect, therefore they expect to spend time cultivating a personal relationship, before business is conducted. Iranians are deliberate negotiators and can drive a hard bargain. Companies are hierarchical. Decisions are made at the top of the company either by one person or a small council. Business attire is formal and conservative when presenting business cards, it is recommended to have one side of your card translated into Farsi, and to present your card so the Farsi side faces the recipient. Watch on to discover 10 cultural customs only Iranians will understand. Number 10. Arts and Literature. Iran has a great art heritage visible in architecture, paintings, calligraphy and poetry. This heritage was translated to several languages and influenced many cultures. Contemporary literature was influenced by classical Persian poetry, although it reflects the particularities of modern-day Iran. Hushang Muradi Kermani is one of the most famous modern Iranian writers, and is considered the most translated modern Iranian author. Iranian films are celebrated and internationally acclaimed. The films have won 300 international awards in the past 10 years. The best-known Persian directors are Abbas Kiarostami, Majid Majidi and Asghar Farhadi. Iran has a long history of fine silk and wool rug weaving, that is why Persian rugs are internationally known as the most beautiful across the world. Iran produces more rugs and carpets than all other countries put together. Number 9. Burning Esfand. Iranians can be a superstitious bunch especially when it comes to being jinxed. To avoid it or in case they feel as though they've already been jinxed they will burn esband, wild rue seeds until they pop and wave the smoke over the heads of their loved ones. Because they're also believed to have purification properties, it's not uncommon to catch a whiff of these pleasant smelling, seeds seeping out from under your neighbor's door. Number 8. Beshkan. If you've ever been to a Persian wedding or party, you've witnessed the peculiar way Iranians snap. You could snap your thumb and middle finger together but that's neither fun nor flashy. More importantly it doesn't make nearly enough sound. Instead Iranians intertwine both hands to create a loud snap with their index fingers. Even George Clooney is down with Beshkan. Number 7. Nooch. Iranians can't be bothered to say no. They'll simply raise their eyebrows as if uttering that one syllable word is far too much effort. You might even get it in combination with a nooch sound made by sucking the tongue. Maybe it's less direct than giving an outright no. Or perhaps it's just a convenient way to answer, while you're munching on sunflower seeds and someone asks you a question. Number 6. Adding cucumbers to fruit bowls. Produce is a staple of the Iranian diet as evidenced by their seasonal street food. Fruit is the ultimate go-to snack and it's always offered to guests either before or after tea. While cucumbers aren't traditionally thought of as a fruit that's exactly what you'll find in the bowl, neatly positioned by the pears, peaches, apricots and cherries. Now you know why that salt shaker is on the table. But technically cucumbers are a fruit so maybe Iranians were right all along. Number 5. Wearing slippers. Okay people everywhere wear slippers but Iranians are especially fond of them, which means there's some serious slipper etiquette in Iran. Let's break it down. First and foremost slippers are called dampayi in Persian which is literally at your feet. There are house slippers, bathroom slippers and outside slippers, and they can each only be worn in their respective spaces. Going to the bathroom. Take off your house slippers and slip on those in the bathroom. Incidentally, this is why there's always a pair of plastic slippers in hotel bathrooms in Iran. Iranians need slippers going outside. Change into outside slippers. Number 4. Parents calling their children, mom and dad. It's one thing for children to call their parents, mom and dad. 
but it's quite another for the parents to call their kids, mom and dad. And yet that's exactly what Iranians do usually when greeting asking a question or for emphasis. A mother calls her child Mamon Jan while a father says Baba Jan. But this curious way of expressing endearment doesn't stop there, it extends to aunts and uncles as well. Number 3. Sur Dardan. The dictionary defines Sur Dardan as to give a party or banquet but it requires a bit more context. It's a party you throw in order to celebrate something you've bought that's valuable like a house, or car or another big occasion like a graduation or landing your dream job. Friends and family might tell you Sur Dara, you have to throw a party so we can celebrate with you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a party though. You could get some sweets or treat to dinner. When one of my students was granted early leave from his military service, he didn't wait for anyone to tell him Sur Dara and went ahead, and brought a box of pastries to celebrate with the class. After moving into my new apartment my friends asked, Shiranish Oki Midi. When are you going to give the sweet switch is another way of saying Sur Dara. Iranians are always up to join you in your celebration especially if there's Shirini involved. Number 2. Celebrating birthdays on the eve. As long as we're talking about celebrations, it's important to know that Iranians celebrate birthdays on the eve. This one confused me for the longest time. I kept wondering why friends and relatives came, so close to getting my birthday right but in the end missed the mark. Until one day I learned about the whole Eve thing. And while I appreciate any gesture acknowledging my birthday I have to admit, there's something a little disappointing about it happening the day before. Mainly because in my mind there's this build up and the day before you're thinking how exciting. Tomorrow's my birthday. And that's when the birthday wishes come flooding in then on your actual birthday. You'll notice that Iranians do this with Christmas and New Year's too, so expect to hear Merry Christmas on December 24th and Happy New Year on December 31st. Number 1. Nasri. Nasri is the food such as ash, cholet, zard saffron rice pudding, gima stew, etc. that people make in massive quantities and distribute for free for religious merit. It's particularly common during Ramadan, or the Islamic month of Muharram when the ceremonies of Tazuwa and Ashura, the even day of the martyrdom of Imam Hussein respectively occur. Many people truly believe that eating Nasri even just a bite will bless them. It's also during these times or other religious ceremonies in general, that you'll see Iskgari Salavati these are little kiosks that give out water and tea for free. If you take some in exchange you send a salavat, consider this something like the Islamic version of a Hail Mary. It's an Arabic phrase that means peace be upon Muhammad and his descendants. When something is salavati it's free but for a religious purpose, and you're supposed to send a salavat if you take it. What do you think of this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.